Hey tubers, I am working out in the greenhouse today and I uh, thought it's time to harvest some beets. And I got my water heating up, so let's go pull some beets. Good morning, Mr. Gnome. It's time to clean out your bed and harvest those beets. I cleaned up some of the beets out of this other bed over here. I mean, they're pretty good. Quite a few of them. Did you see that or not? We're going to clean this one up too. I know a lot of people eat the uh, beet leaves, so I haven't done that, but. Um, Something we may try. When you're harvesting beets, now this one's a little different because this is like a hybrid. This is two beets in one. See that? Two plants, one beet. Interesting. But you want to cut the uh, stems above the beet so that um, the beet doesn't bleed. You cut it about a half inch or so above the beet. Like that. See if you can see that or not. That's two different beets there that made one. We cut them above there, that way the, the beet won't bleed. <clears throat> You'll get a kick out of this one. I have never grown beet very well until this year. Never been really su successful at that. But a, this is a pretty good year. And these are Detroit beets. That one looks like a, a well, you know what it looks like. It's my beet harvest from last fall. Okay, I've washed off the uh, the beets and uh, got them in the water. I'll wait for it to boil again. It's starting to boil a little bit again but once it gets to a rolling boil I will time it for 45 minutes that tuber she's been boiling for about 30 minutes and uh, I'm getting gonna get ready to um, start pulling them out here very shortly and put them in this cold water and we'll get to start peeling them very soon all right, I'm pulling them out. I'm going to put them in the cold water. Skins are just falling off of them. Let's 
that's it. So we'll let them cool and um, start peeling them. I'm a mess. But if you think that uh, gardening is pretty and it's a place for you to look nice and Look all refined and everything. That ain't gardening. Anyway, I'm just cutting the bottoms off, pulling the skins off of the beets, and then cutting them up. Actually, I'm just going to throw them in there. You know you got it right when they're just coming apart like that. Not a whole lot of effort. If you ever tried to peel a beet when it was fresh out of the ground, you'll see how just how tough those things are. This is a bad spot on one. And they're good just like that. No red number eight chemical in this. It's a real deal. My thumbs will be purple for a while. Or red. It's harder to get it out of your fingernails, actually. It'll come off the skin quicker than it will then. Y'all go play in some dirt. God bless. We'll see you next time. Okay, tubers. Now I'm uh, harvesting the beet greens, and we'll eat those just like you would. It's, it tastes a lot like uh, Swiss chard, chard to me. A um, little bit, a little bit like collards, cross between collards and Swiss chard. And uh, you just strip. I strip the spines out just like I do the chard or the collards, and uh, rinse them off, and cook them down. And these are the beds that used to be my beets. That one now has yellow straight neck zucchini. I'm sorry, yellow straight neck squash, and that has black beauty zucchini.